Hey guys, today, the 2015 Buick LaCrosse Premium One All-Wheel Drive. All right, let's begin. It also comes with remote start. Just click lock twice, then hold this down for two seconds. Buick has a reputation of building large, luxurious sedans for older people. But in recent times, the Buick has been going through some considerable changes. They've been marketing to younger people. With models like the Regal and Verano, which are small cars, uh, and the Encore, which is the new Chinese-built small SUV, they really are starting to change. But the LaCrosse is still a vehicle that's very luxurious, but you can market it to younger people. With extremely classy styling, a refined driving experience, and a whole bunch of luxury features, it's a great choice if you're looking at a luxury sedan. The quality in newer General Motors products has improved greatly after their bankruptcy. Really, they've been doing a great job. I personally like the classic Buick uh, gills on the side, and I think the blue in the headlights looks cool, and I love all the technology features in this. It has a 3.6 liter 24 valve, dual overhead cam, direct injected V6, producing around 300 horsepower. It makes the LaCrosse be a pretty, a pretty quick car. You have the option of uh, front or all-wheel drive. The one you see here is the all-wheel drive model. And you actually have quite an array of prices. You can be in the low 30s with the base model, but with the premium one here, you're looking at a price around $47,000. You have a lockable fuel filler cap with MPG ratings of 17 city, 26 highway, and 20 combined. You get a backup camera, parking sensors, dual chrome exhaust tips, a power sunroof, keyless entry, turn signal heated exterior mirrors with blind spot warning and lane departure warning. You also get xenon headlamps and fog lamps that are not xenon, and an automatic braking system. You get chromed alloy wheels wrapped in P24545R19 tires. You get ventilated front disc brakes and solid rear disc brakes with McPherson strut front suspension and multi-link rear suspension. You get Xenon headlamps with uh, halogen indicators, LED accenting with some blue uh, trim in it, halogen fog lamps, classic Buick grille with adaptive cruise control located in the middle, uh, front parking sensors, you don't get those, but uh, you do get rear parking sensors. You get a rain sensing windshield wipers, uh, a heated windshield, and an automatic braking system located right here where this triangle is. You get LED tail lights with some chrome trim that carries across the rear end, <laughs> incorporates the Buick emblem, and carries to the other side. To open up your trunk, you just hold this button down, and it pops open. It's a very roomy trunk with some underfloor storage and a cargo net. I personally like the color combo on this car. You get a white frost exterior and a Chococino leather interior. It's perforated with white stitching, a whole bunch of black accenting, and black ashwood trim. You also get a, a blue Buick aluminum sill plate and chrome door handles. So you get full power driver and passenger seats with four-way lumbar support adjustment, a manually tilt telescoping steering wheel. The front two windows are automatic. You have two-person driver seat memory. Your window locks, door locks, and power folding mirrors are located there. Also, your trunk button is located down there.
In order to start your lacrosse, you just put your foot on the brake and hit the chrome accent button on it here. You get electrically assisted rack and pinion power steering in this three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with multifunctional controls off either side, the chromed Buick badge in the middle, and aluminum accenting. You also get mild grip also extensions up here and some gray stitching. You get a six speed automatic transmission in this leather wrapped shifter with some accenting here, uh, manual buttons for your uh, M mode, as well as a leather stitch shift boot. On your steering wheel, you find cruise control settings, heated steering wheel, settings for your adaptive cruise control and automatic braking, voice control, Bluetooth, seek and track, volume, and different controls for your infotainment system. As I mentioned, you use the keypad on the steering wheel for your infotainment system. So right now you see the speedometer with the navigation in the middle. By clicking to the left, you bring up another menu where you can go through info, where you can bring up a digital speedometer, uh, nothing, your follow distance, speed limit, tire pressure, oil uh, oil life, different a whole bunch of different settings. Uh, click to the left again. You can go into audio, and look at your different radio settings, phone. If you have a phone connected, you can look at different stuff for that there and settings, where you can uh, change the settings about the vehicle. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror with your emergency assist and on star there, as well as a panoramic sunroof. I personally really love the black Alcantara headliner in this one. Right here you get a sunglass holder, LED interior illumination, three position garage home link, different uh, controls for your sunroof, uh, sunshade, and interior illumination. You get an Alcantara wrapped sun visor, with vanity mirror and illumination, you get a grab handle, side curtain airbags, torso airbags, adjustable seat belts, and more. Off to the left, you have your indicators, off to the right you have your wipers, and over here you have your headlights, fog lights, and different uh, controls for your entertainment system with brightness. You get a Bose surround sound system. sounds really good. Up top you have controls for your lane departure warning, hazard lights, and parking sensors. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Buick IntelliLink system. First you have audio, where you can go through like your Sirius, um, HD radio, uh, AM and FM. You have all your different settings there phone, where you can connect the phone through Bluetooth, store your contacts, voicemail, and voice control. Navigation. You have real-time traffic alert, a little lacrosse icon, different destination settings. Your settings, where you can customize all the features. Pandora, internet radio, weather. You have real-time weather with three-day forecast, hourly, 36-hour, daily. Shows all your different weather systems. It's really cool. You have texting and OnStar with uh, temperature and clock off to the either side. Below your IntelliLink screen, you have your on button and volume button. It's actually leather wrapped. I really like that. Radio, media, eject, back, seek and track, home, menu, and tune. Off to either side you have these little touch pads with dual zone climate control, three stage heated and ventilated seats, sync, auto, and on. Right here is your fan speed, 
uh, different zones, max front faster, rear to faster, AC, vehicle recycling, and a CV player. Under this cubby, you have a 12 volt power outlet and a little cubby there, and two cup holders right here. Also, you get an electronic parking brake and your traction control off button. You also get a leather stitch glove box. It's, I actually really think this is cool, how it opens and closes. You get a 12 volt power outlet, USB and auxiliary, with a little removable tray. It is illuminated, and then how it closes is my favorite part. It's really cool. We'll go ahead and shut it off. You get grab handles with coat hooks. Your side curtain airbags carry back here. You have black ash wood trim, leather seat pocket. You have a 120 volt outlet and a 12 volt outlet. You have rear climate control, um, illumination right here, and two cup holders in your center console with a little cubby. You also have 60 40 split folding rear seats. You still get side curtain airbags and torso airbags on this side. It's a nice looking vehicle. Overall, I do like the LaCrosse. I would do wish it was a little more fun to drive and a little less expensive, so I give it a 7 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please click the link in the description and go to Buick GMC's website, because it's a really great dealer. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, bye.